how to create a rocky texture in Photoshop. And something like this, similar sort of design anyway, as the cloud filter is actually random, you'll never get exactly the same design each time. So the key thing here is to actually set the black and white, set the foreground to black and the background to white. And then go to the actual filter itself. So I'm just gonna just set those there and go to filter and render and clouds. And that gets rid of the original image there. Okay, once you've actually got that, you can apply this cloud multiple times. You just keep reapplying until you're happy with the cloud. And that doesn't particularly matter, I mean, for this example, but you can just keep applying it. And once you're happy, you can also create variants as well. So if you uh, want to, you can just go to Edit Menu and Undo and just go for Dark and Multiply. So you can create some really more unusual landscapes just by using and of course you can combine it, maybe use multiple layers, combine those to create a sort of very abstract sort of cloud design. Now, once you've done that, what you can do then is just go to 3D, I'm obviously just applying a couple more cloud fields just to try them out. Now, go to the 3D menu and then new mesh from layer and depth map to, and then use the plane option. So just use that. And it takes a bit of time to process, depends on the size of the image. Maybe you've got 500 by 500, should be quicker. 1000 by 1000, 2000 by 2000, might be a bit slower. And then you've got that design there. Use the 3D tools to slide the image. So you can just go up at the top of the thing, you've got there the 3D options there, and the fourth one along is a slide. And just basically drag that towards the, the screen, and just drag the mouse downwards and you can sort of, there you've got your rocky landscape, very quick and easy. And you can keep doing that. You can move it clo closer, move it back again, up to you what you want to do. You can then go to layer menu and then flatten the image. So just go to layer and flatten image. Yep. Now, if you want to color it, you can use adjustments, maybe go to like hue saturation via the image menu and colorize and you can see the color there make it more like mud kind of thing or dirt whatever you want to do so click ok at that point you can see the design there now i don't particularly want that i'm going to go with the black and white still so i'm just going to get rid of that but I'll sort of show you that you can actually just recolor it now another way of really creating a nicer touch is to actually go to the filter and camera raw just go there camera raw filter and you can manipulate the exposure, so you just make it slightly darker there and contrast, change that, highlights, and you just tweak it. There's a number of options, and there's, of course, more options within the, the tool itself, so you can play around with that for a bit. Click OK, and you can see then the design there. Well, what you can also do, and I'm just going to quickly show you, you can actually go back, back to the... Use the 3D tool, so I'm just going to go back in the history panel instead of obviously starting them fresh again. So I've just got exactly the same one that I created before, the cloud in the 3D model. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the first one there, first in the thing. You can rotate the design around a bit. So actually what happens then, it makes it look more like a sort of like landscape. So straight down, you've actually got it slightly again. I'm going for the slide option now. And you can see the background now. So you can sort of make it looking off into the distance towards the horizon. So the, the mountains sort of go off in there. What you can also do at this point, you can actually create a background for it. That's another thing to make it, obviously it doesn't look very good with a transparent background. You can of course add your own images to that background if you want. And I'm just gonna quickly create, I'm just gonna quickly go there, create a cloud. So a layer and, I don't want to duplicate that, I want a layer and new layer. Or you could, of course, rasterize the layer first. That's another option. So you've got it rasterized. It's up to you. you. You can keep it live, keep it as an actual 3D model, or just rasterize it. But now I'm going to go for layer and new layer. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move that layer down. So you've actually got the, obviously, the new layer below the original mountain. And then just go to the render and, well, filter menu, render and cloud, and then you've got some cloud background. And you can, of course, apply the clouds multiple times. Go to filter, clouds, and just keep applying it until you're happy with the cloud design that you've got there. And then you've got, you can stop at that point, flatten the image, and so on and so on.
maybe apply some additional blurs if you want maybe a slight blur in the background you can use blur tool to do that that's an option but layer and flatten image and again you can tweak it a bit further if you want using the camera raw click OK anyway you found it of interest thank you much